What's good everybody, SG Scouts here back with another video and today we're going to be looking at newest Detroit Lions star, number three overall pick in the draft, Jeffrey Okuda. Before we get into the film analysis, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to never miss any content. Without further ado, let's get right into it. At Ohio State, Okuda would usually travel with the number one receiver, so he does have experience playing inside and outside. Technique-wise, um, he played various techniques and he has experience in all of them, um, but he is at his best in press coverage, um, especially because of his line of scrimmage skills and the strength and hand quickness that he has. On this plays on the bottom of the screen in press man, you'll see that he delivers two strong blows to the uh, receiver's chest, uses that outside foot as a weapon forcing the receiver inside. And right off the bat, he's basically won the route just off of what he did at the line of scrimmage. He's absolutely slowed down this receiver's route. And again, like I said, he just shows very good hand quickness, very good play strength. And this is something um, that I see translating well to the NFL. Um, and give, uh, leading to him having success early on in his career. Now with this press technique, it's not all in the strength, it's also his very tidy footwork. As you'll see here, he's working at the top of the screen in press coverage yet again. You see he's not going to land his hands on this play, he's actually just going to try to mirror the receiver. He has very tidy footwork, very patient. And then in the middle of the route, he uses his hands to force the receiver to the sideline, um, creating a hard throw for the quarterback. You know, very clean footwork there and force the receiver outside. But one thing, um, one little thing that he needs to fix is um, on some of these routes that work back to the quarterback, he does lose his momentum at the top of the route, as you've seen there. Um, just needs to get better with his, uh, with sort of recognizing these comeback routes and then stopping in time so that he is in position to make a play on the ball. I mean, he's also a very viable option as a bail uh, technique corner. And a big reason for that is just the outstanding athleticism he has, as he was the top corner at the combine um, with the 96th percentile adjusted spark score. And he's going to show on this play um, just remarkable athleticism. He's going to be shuffling with this receiver as the receiver runs a vertical route, just sprints down the field, and Okuda just shuffles and carries the route effortlessly. Um, just remarkable athleticism. Elite stuff. Here's a play of him in off coverage and some scouts have knocked his route anticipation but on this play he's gonna show absolutely elite uh, route recognition. He's gonna run the route basically for the receiver as the receiver is matched up on. He's gonna run a 10 yard out. You're just gonna see Okuda break on it. Uh, so quickly and I do agree somewhat that his this play might be an outlier but he definitely shows I mean great potential he broke on that route before the receiver did and he's also very physical at the catch point um, displaying those remarkable physical traits and then I mean also the long arms being able to get in there and then create a, a pass deflection on this play One way in which he really separates himself from the rest of the class is his tackling ability. He's very physical as a tackler. Um, his aggressiveness is solid. And that's one area where he probably could improve a bit um, to get on sort of that level like a Marlon Humphrey or Richard Sherman. I'd like to see him be maybe slightly more aggressive. But when the ball carrier gets to him, um, you know, he's very physical, looks to bring him down. Clemson's going to run uh, a sweep option his way. You'll see he does well to get off the block, showing that good play strength. And then once that ball carrier is there, just physical, lays the boom on him. You know, impressive stuff. This is sort of what was missing in A.J. Terrell and C.J. Henderson's tape. Um, just this ability to be physical on the outside. Um, it's going to be important in the NFL. On this play, Clemson's going to throw a quick screen to Kuda's side. And you'll see we put in a situation where he has to make a one-on-one -on -one tackle. And he'll appear calm, cool, and collected. He's going to shorten the distance quickly. 
show good aggressiveness, just get his nose in there, makes a good tackle, wraps up. And especially in the AJ Terrell tape, we saw a lot of plays like this where Terrell was unable to make that one-on-one -on -one tackle, but Okuda, on the other hand, I'll consider him very reliable on the outside as a tackler. He just lays everything you'd want, you know, good strength, good technique, and then also the willingness to make a tackle. And here's one last run support clip. Okuda on the bottom of the screen in off coverage, and Wisconsin's going to run a sweep to his side. You'll just see he displays good mental process and takes a good angle to make or to disrupt this running play. And what I really like about this is just the little to no hesitation that he displays, uh, even in the run game. You know, when a team drafts a corner, everyone talks about what he's going to add to their pass coverage. But Okuda uh, definitely is going to improve the Lions' uh, run defense as well, as teams love to run outside in today's NFL, especially at corners who can't tackle. That's not going to be an issue with Okuda. He's um, definitely, like I've said before, reliable in this aspect of the game. Now to give my final thoughts on Jeff Okuda and summarize what we saw in the video. As always, this is the 7-point grading scale that we will be using, with 4 being that solid NFL average baseline value and then going up or down from there. I mean, he was chosen 3rd overall for a reason. He's got a ton of strengths. He's an elite athlete with good strength, just an elite physical frame. And then also, he has very good coverage skills, especially in man. Uh, that press ability um, is what makes him so valuable. That's what every team is searching for. An elite press corner that can really shut down a receiver off the snap. And then he combines all his good coverage skill with very good closing quickness um, as the ball's arriving. And then also, he's good in run support, which is very valuable in today's NFL. And looking at areas of concern, there aren't many, obviously, very skilled player. Um, I'd like to see him become a bit more controlled at the top of some of the comeback routes, like we saw in that one clip. Um, you know, that makes him susceptible to allowing, uh, you know, some underneath stuff. And also back shoulder throws. And then he, his zone ability could become a little better. He did flash elite route anticipation on that one clip. But he still does have... Um, you know, some room for improvement to become consistently, uh, you know, good in that area of the game. And this is the final projection for Jeff Okuda. With this being the final projection, this is the end of the video. Like I said in the beginning, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell to never miss any content. And all the support for the channel really does help it grow. Also, let me know if there's a player you want to see in the next video. And yeah. I'm out.